of us know someone, no matter whether you're a woman or a man, someone has experienced something like this. How do I know? Because I have told this story before. And I know from my nephew that if you were stopped by a drug-sniffing dog at the airport, and never mind how he knows, they sit on your feet. And so today, I stand here proud to declare that my artistic roots are grounded deep in West Texas Greasy Spoon Jukebox Honky Tonk. <laughs> The Clement Lotus can reproduce both sexually or asexually. Oh, yeah. In other words, if they wish to have a relationship, that's fine, but if they don't feel it's compatible, they just split. <laughs> I like beaches being near the water, I like sunsets and fireplaces and wine. Yeah, that's 99% of any online dating profile. <laughs> And then you'd have the, the sensitive guy who would listen to her and uh, she could talk about her day and he'd have these really awesome active listening skills, you know, with high statements and empathetic listening and stuff like that. He said, what was that? She said, that was the porcelain. And you let me break him? We could have sold him, put him back together. So it was very easy for me to fall into the mindset that the adoption community kind of snidely calls rainbows and unicorns. Sometimes I just need a cup of coffee and I need somebody else to make it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and the reality was that Charlene could burn. Now, if you don't know my vernacular, in my vernacular in the culture of my people, what we say when we say burn is we mean it was some good cooking. So then now I hear some French. Okay, I'm in because every time I've been in Paris, the French love Brazilians. So I found this information rather dubious, but it still seemed like a promising place to go. So you know, that, the whole week went great. I even told them about you know how I always imagined old Dan Tucker, one of my dad's friends, because they all seemed drunk all the time. <laughs> we found out that he all the freaking time. And my phone rings. Ugh. It's my parents. When they call out of the blue without texting, it means they want me to help solve a problem. This was just a service call, thank you very much, goodbye, and went on to the next number. If the answer was no, I don't subscribe to the press, that's when the fun began. So now she crosses her arms, she's like, no. <laughs> and, and it's not just any no, it's this taunting no, it's the like, I can change my voice and give you a funny look too, so what? 